Dang, how you do liquid cooling? Seems like a bit of a loaded question, but you know, I'll do my best. <clears throat> I don't know if you're referring to like a AIO or like a custom loop. An AIO is exactly what the acronym represents, meaning it's an all-in-one system. So you don't have to add anything to it. Like you don't have to add any liquid or anything to it. It's already, the liquid's already inside for you. It also has a water pump and it has a radiator. And so when you think of the radiator, think of like the one that you would have on your car. It has the liquid going through there with a fan that blows onto that radiator, um, keeping the liquid cool enough to where it can circulate and keep your car from overheating. Same thing on the CPU. A custom loop is a bit more complicated. Not in its functionality, but in its maintenance. Um, and the, the requirements you need to upkeep it. I'm not an expert at it. I don't actually have a custom loop system. I've never built one yet. Are either of them really necessary? Um, <clears throat> yes and no. Uh, for a higher grade CPU, yes, you want to use a liquid cooling because it does perform better than most air coolers. Uh, so if you had like a Ryzen 9 or like a 14900K, yeah, I would probably go with liquid cooling. Pretty much anything that's a little bit spicier than normal. So like Ryzen 5 or like a um, i3 or i5, I don't think it's necessary to use liquid cooling. Air cooling is just fine. If you want to see more content like this or have any other PC-related questions, feel free to ask.